Hi, I'm Michael. Thanks for watching Aquarium Tech. Um, go ahead and, and add another video to the lighting series and follow up that T12 video with, of course, T8 video. All right. Um, now I know I noticed in the other video I did mention how like T12s and T10s are used in office building. Don't even worry about T10s. I've never really heard of them in use for aquariums. Okay. Anyways, on the T8s. Um, T8s are basically uh, almost very similar to T12s. They're just a little bit thinner, use the same connections, um, and they're a little bit more efficient. Um, you won't really notice a whole lot of different output with your light, even if you were just to switch a T12 over from a T8, you won't really notice too much more output, but, you know, it, it is a little bit more efficient, all right? Um, and also, I'll mention, I haven't seen any high output T8 bulbs. So, the only ones I've really seen are like the Zoomed and the Corelife T8s for the most part. Um, and those aren't high output, those are just, uh, those are just, uh, what, what you call it, those are just like different color temperatures and stuff like that. But that will make your tank look cooler and it will help you grow plants in your tank. Alright? Um... Yeah, so that's, that's pretty much all there is really to say about them. Um, and before I show you this demonstration, like I mentioned with the T12s, I found I actually have a little T8 here that uses the ballast system, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, this one has one of these starters in here, and this one can't, uh, it can't start those high output bulbs, the high output T12s. Um, but then see, you have one of your newer ones here, I think this one's actually a Perfecto or a Marine Land, and this one's an Aquion. And just so you know, when I say Aquion for like T12s, it's all actually all glass aquarium. That used to be their name, I believe. Uh, but you know that that's what Aquion is now. They might even put that on some of their stuff. Like I've seen it on their heaters. It says like all glass aquarium. But anyways, as you can see on here, there is no starter visible on here. Um, but I believe it uses some kind of a ballast system because I had, my friend has, or I used to actually have it myself. If you saw that 24 inch high output bulb I showed you, I had one that used a ballast system like this, a new one. And it, it would work in that, that high output bulb would work in that fixture. But it won't work in any of the ones with the starter, even this one. Which is a different one from the other video. So, um... So yeah, j j j just so you know, in case you happen to find a high output T8. But anyways, I'll show you just a couple examples of a T8. This is these are these both have just stock bulbs. As you can see, it's a little bit brighter than the T12. You know, I don't know if it's actually visibly brighter, but you know. And you can always help these fixers by making a reflector if you have one like this. And I plan on maybe making a video on that mod soon. And here's a bigger one that uses a starter. Of course, this one's old as hell. Oh, look, see, this bulb is all glass aquarium. Yeah, this was before they went to that. But yeah, as you can see, it probably puts out the same amount of light as a T12, maybe a little bit more, and this one uses 17 watts instead of 20. So, all right. And yep, they, yeah, T12 and TH should fit on each other's uh, hoods and stuff. I've heard some people say that they couldn't fit them on there. I don't know if they actually tried. I've never had a problem switching T8s with T12s before. Um, you know, as long as it's the same length. You know, as long as you're putting an 18-inch bulb and a, a fixture that's meant for an 18-inch fixture, or 24-inch, a 24-inch, you know, etc., etc. So, all right. And that's pretty much all there is to say about T8s. If you ever want to upgrade your T8, really the best thing to do is go buy a T5. But if you can't do that, um, you know, your best option is probably just go in and grab one of those Zoomed bulbs from like Petco or, you know, somewhere else. Because I haven't seen any high output ones. Alright? Alright, I guess that's about it for uh, T8s. Alright, thanks for tuning in.